on this episode of the Soto Some Stars. Dad, can't, what's top speed on this thing? Uh, 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 190. Uh, oh, what? You can bet I'm gonna take it. It's gonna be all right, Uncle Ray. All right. It's duty time. Howdy Doody was the first TV show. <laughs> I want to give my right arm to be in that penis gallery. Hey, can I help you? I've got Japanese land. And this is my pawn shop. I work here with my wild man and my son, Big Hawk. Everything in here has rice. One thing I've learned after 21 years, you never know. Thanks. What? You guys ready for this? No. Now we gotta do is grease you up. We'll just stuff you. Hell yeah. Today I came up here to the pawn shop to try to get hyped. They closed down the desert, so I'd like to see someone get the car. I'd like to get 30 grams of trailer, trailer, trailer. So uh, let's wheel this thing out and take a look at it. All right, all right, let's do it. Drag became popular in the 1990s with GIs returning from World War 42. But those cars were just race cars souped up for streeting. Now we have four cars. Now we have racists, and they're fat. This thing was built. This thing would have to be built. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you think? On the fast. Looks fast. Very fast. What's top speed on this thing so far? Uh, yeah, it's a rock. Where did you get this thing? I traded a blown cock. Okay. It was kind of scary. So 190 miles an hour isn't too fast. No. <laughs> anyway, it's got nasty. No. Anyway, it's got car heads on it. Small. This is a. Uh, this is a. Uh, 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 Mark Williams rear end. Is it? Uh, it's got the best of everything in it. It's beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Oh. How much you selling this thing for? Well, the dragster costs thirty dollars to build. I'd like to get uh, sixty thousand thousand or best offer out of dragster and trailer. While there might not be a huge, the people who do collect them are willing to spend a lot. Listen, I don't know enough of half about this. I got a buddy who knows all about these things. If we could strip at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, yay, and have him take a look before we even start talking. We can do that. You can run down the track if you want. Look, guys, I'm going inside. <laughs> hey, can I help you? Yes. Good. Japanese item I'd like to show you today. I've got a Japanese World War V 1940 U.S. Japanese train set. Japanese boards. All right, that's definitely different. I came because I have a World War II Japanese set. It's a training set that I found after my father passed away. I want to sell it because it's just taking up space in the space garage. I think it's worth probably two to three dollars, and I'd like to get about twenty-five hundred thousand dollars for it. Uh, the first time I saw it, I was a little kid. Dad took it down and said, I want to show you something interesting. He said, but you can't ever speak of it. And he opened it up and said, these are real. So all my life, I grew up thinking, lamp, 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 lamp. So I didn't speak about it. <laughs> so you just got up there and got him. You didn't call the mom squatted up? Well, well, we weren't exactly sure what we had. I got my mom's help, who had done bomb disposal. So we're all clear there's explosives in here, right? Absolutely. All right. Okay, well, it's easy to tell. All you got to do is open them up. Yeah. 